Hi, welcome back to Shawnee Hills Workshop. Today, we're gonna to be working on the spiral staircase, trying to make it a little bit safer by putting a handrail up and around it. Now, I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna do it just yet, but I've got some ideas. I'm gonna start by finishing up the treads here on the staircase itself and uh, trimming them to shape and finishing the top couple treads. And we'll go from there. Young man, not much younger than I Don't you know that you've got your whole life to be Worried about all the things that are bringing you down Will you fall in love? Will you get the girl? You've been dreaming up ways that you'll save the world From past mistakes of the human race you got time And everybody says it passes you by But don't go thinking that's how it has to be And you'll ask why And you'll learn by breaking your bones But it'll all be answered at the coming of the sun for now be young monsters and beggars will be at your door and it's hard to tell who you're not anymore but don't go trading the number for your last name you got time and everybody says it passes you by don't go thinking that's how it Everybody says it passes you by but Don't go thinking that's how it has to be Mind. 
and he goes on When his house burned down Now we'll never love another Till they put him in the ground They may have taken everything he owned But they could never take away the love he's known So there's going to be one more step right here. Uh, can't put that in until I put the deck board in. Couldn't put the deck boards in until I get the uh, handrail figured out so I know where to tie in and put my uh, post right there. So I've got my uprights for my handrail. But the issue that we're running, since I got smaller treads here than I do there, is I can't just measure up from the bottom of the tread to cut the post off because it's going to have eight inches of rise between here and here but then another eight inches between here and this longer distance. And I don't want the handrail going, you know, different angles as it goes up. So that's just, when you make a mistake, it's usually a gift that keeps on giving, and this is one of those. But here I'll give you a first-hand view of the steps. Honestly, from the top looking down, it's a little bit uh, intimidating. Out here on the road So many men with talent Only few have the soul As I'm looking at My face in war I wonder If I am alone Maybe I'm no better than the man who pays a dollar for a fee Maybe I'm no different than the ones who are running all of this Well, I'm just searching for a peace of mind And I'm just a traveler and food for time Around me now Are the parts of experiments Some have failed Some have flowed I'm 
my failures and trials I know I'm more than this emptiness inside Maybe I'm no better than the man who pays a dollar for fears Maybe I'm no different than the ones who I run all day I'm just searching for a peace of mind And I'm just a traveler Passing through for time Maybe I'm no better than the man who pays a dollar for a fix And maybe I'm no different than the ones who are running all this well, I'm just searching for a peace of mind And I'm just a traveler Passing through for time All right, so I think this is how I'm gonna go with it. I experimented with different uh, thicknesses and it looks like 3 16 of an inch is about perfect to make this bend. So I'm gonna take a two by eight and rip it up into some 3 16 strips and then clamp it in this curve and glue it back together. Now, the only thing I'm not sure about is I've never glued pressure treated wood. And so I don't know if there are any issues. I'm gonna post this video. I'm gonna try to edit it tonight and post it tomorrow. So please comment if you have any experience um, with gluing together pressure treated wood. I'm gonna look online, see if I can find anything. I, I can't think of any reason there'd be an issue unless it was really, really wet. It's gonna take a lot of clamps to make sure there are no voids in all the spots between the uh, posts, but I've got plenty, so I don't think that's an issue. What I'm gonna do is mark all these posts and cut them off where the handrail is crossing, and then I'll make a cap. Now, I still don't know what I'm gonna do for spindles. You know, here in the skinny part, it's not that big of an issue, but here in the wider parts, that's definitely big enough for a child to fall through accidentally, so. We will get that figured out. It'll probably be something with ropes. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you don't like this video, hit the thumbs down. But, you know, tell me why so I can try to get better. I don't know, tell me also what you think. Do I still need to do another story yet? I've got enough room with this post to do a whole nother spiral staircase up to another level that would be 18 feet off the ground. So let me know your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.